it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week to talk indie sewing patterns and we are talking the top 10 indie sewing patterns of 2021. We got loads of emails from people asking which were the kind of top 10 most popular patterns on the site and we thought well if loads of you are asking you probably, I mean I'm quite nosy, I'd love to know what were the top 10. So we've compiled them, here they are um, and I'm going to get cracking. So. I think that, I mean, let's be honest, there are a few that are surprising and there are quite a lot which you might guess or own or have made. I'm um, going to start with the most popular one, the Ogden Cami from True Bias. I know, it's a classic, everyone loves it. So this is relatively recently in the last sort of six to eight months, I think, I can't remember quite when, but semi-recently updated its size range. So it now comes in two bandings, so you can go for size 8 to 20, this is cut with a C cup, and then UK sizes 16 to 32, this is cut with a D cup. This pattern is so popular, everyone loves it. You might even be wearing one now, there are, you know, I, I almost can't believe that not everyone that not everyone owns this pattern yet. So, key features of the pattern are, it's actually a lovely, lovely simple sew. If you're relatively new to sewing, you wanted to make something kind of, a kind of wardrobe staple, this is a really nice option. It's got a gentle V at the front, um, little straps that go over the shoulders. It doesn't have bust darts, and that is something that I think people I know have tweaked um, Rachel has made it and, and put in her own dart as well, which is really simple to do. You just kind of cut it and kind of pin it in a bit. Um, and there are loads of hacks that you can do with it, and I'm sure many of you have seen it. I know obviously we're now sort of at the tail end of summer, but people have hacked this into a slip dress. They've added ruffles to the neckline. They've added ties and thickened the straps. There are loads and loads of different things that you can do with it, but this shape will never go out of style. It is a wardrobe staple and you can make this every summer. That's, I think, the appeal. And I know loads of people who have made it once and then whipped them up in like five different colours and that's their sort of summer top all kind of done and nailed. So it is a wonderful pattern. Everyone loves it and we can see totally why it's really, really popular. So next up on the popularity list is the Zadie jumpsuit from Paper Theory Patterns. This comes in sizes 6 to 28. This is gorgeous. I'm sure many of you own it. Um, for those of you who came to the Sewing Weekender, there was a hack to turn this into a dress. But this pattern looks so great on everyone. If you're wondering, if you wanted to see it on different body types, if you go onto Instagram and put Zadie search the hashtag Zadie jumpsuit you can see how many people have made it in all different shapes and sizes. I would say that this pattern looks great on every body type which is really unusual and it fits well and everyone loves it. It's just so fantastic. So features of the pattern if I show you the line drawing it's a wrap style jumpsuit. Um, it's got this interesting sort of v-neck kind of, v-neck is v-neck but interesting v cut on the wrap which has a tie attached to it which you can tie at the back or at the side or at the front it's up to you it's wide legged it's got pockets there's a short version short sleeved version and long sleeve version which means you can make it to where you know in winter if you made it in a lightweight wool it would look lovely but you could also make it for sort of in a sort of thicker fabric for spring and then obviously something lovely and floaty linen-y or viscosy in the summer. But loads of people have made this, it's gorgeous. I've seen lots of people shorten it and to make it into little shorts as well. There, it's just gorgeous. It's such a fantastic pattern and I cannot even tell you how many people have made this. I think a lot of people, and I know myself included, if you're sewing something, a jumpsuit is it's tricky in terms of getting the fit right and this seems to just fit people quite often almost out the packet so it's yeah it's really well cut it's just I love it absolutely love it I actually own a um, jumpsuit that I bought before this was released um, from Whistles that's almost the same cut as this and I live in it every summer so I I actually am going to make the, I still haven't made the Zadie jumpsuit yet but it's on I've got it for when the other one runs out because I'm worried that I haven't got a replacement so it's gorgeous Next up we've got the Marlowe sweater from True Bias. This is perfect as we're heading more towards, well the sort of colder months are ahead of us, 
though it's nice and warm today. Um, I think this is a gorgeous pattern. It's really good if you're kind of... I think the thing that I love about this is the two different lengths. So let's talk about the shape of this. So there are two options. There's a cropped version that, and, and when I say cropped, it ends almost at your belly button. And there's a longer version which kind of ends just kind of at your hip. Uh, if you like wearing dresses, and I know there's loads of people who are really into dresses, or actually the Zadie jumpsuit, and you want to have a jumper over the top, the short sleeve, the crop version of this, looks fantastic with dresses and jumpsuits. It's a really great option. It just cuts at the right point, usually where there's like a waistband or a tie, because um, the longer the longer cardigans, unless it's long, long, can look a bit funny if you wear them over a dress. So this is a really fantastic option if you like that. I love the three big buttons down the front. It's got a drop sleeve. Um, I don't think I've told you what sizes it comes in, which is very helpful. So um, sizing, it comes UK 8 to 20 with a C cup or UK 16 to 32 with a D cup. So this is the second true bias pattern we've got. Um, it's just such a fantastic pattern, I just love it, and I know loads of you have made it and absolutely adore it. It's again, something that's never gonna get out of fashion, it's a really useful piece to have in your wardrobe. And once you've made one, you're gonna want to make them in loads of colors, so I love this. <clears throat> Next up, we've got the Heyday Dungarees from Waves and Wild. These are just so popular, people absolutely love these, and I can, sort, I can totally see why. Um, they're a kind of lightweight dungaree. They're quite a relaxed fit. They're not, but they're not wide legged. They're kind of loose. Um, they've got a seam up the centre front, patch pockets, a, a kind of pocket on the bib of the um, dungarees, and different variations that you can use to um, tie them. They come in sizes six to thirty-two, so it's got a great size range, and it's really good if you're a beginner. These are a really good beginner dungaree option because of the loose fitting leg. They're so popular, people absolutely adore them, and I can totally see why. I just, yeah, I think it's a really fantastic pattern. So if you're looking for some dungarees, these are these vouched for by the sewing community. Next up, we've got, this is a really old pattern, but I, well, it's a cult classic, I would say, in the sewing community. The kilo wrap dress and jumpsuit from Named Clothing. I think this has had a resurgence because Named re-released this pattern with a bigger size range but also an option to turn this into a jumpsuit. So in terms of the sizing while we're on that, it comes in a size UK 4 to 28. I'll show you some pictures so you can see it and I'll show you the line drawing because if you haven't come across this before, it kind of pickles your mind in terms of the pattern cutting. So it's actually very very simple so if you're new to sewing and you're new to sewing with jersey this is a really good option and you could totally and utterly whip this up in an afternoon if you're it's really simple so if you look at the line drawing it's basically cut like a t-shirt at the top and then it, ex it extends from the waist then down and the idea is that you wrap it around yourself and tie it up and it creates that sort of interesting silhouette and wrap I know, isn't it cool? It's so interesting. Um, the jumpsuit version of this is very similar in terms of the cut. It's that same thing, but instead of obviously having a skirt at the bottom, it's got wide, wide-ish leg. Actually, let's have a look, yeah. Definitely wide-legged trousers, but they slightly taper in towards the bottom. You can make this with sleeves or without sleeves. You can make this, it is designed to be made in a woven, but loads of people have made this in a jersey as well, so it is completely up to you. Um, oh, sorry, I'm, I've got that completely wrong. It's designed to be made in a jersey, but I have seen people make it in a woven as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, sorry, that was very confusing. I knew I'd got that the wrong way around as soon as I launched into it. So yeah, it's designed to be for jersey, but you can make it in a woven as well. Um, I've seen quite a few people make it in a woven. Perhaps not the jumpsuit, but the dress has definitely been made in a woven fabric before. It's such a fab pattern, I can totally see why everyone loves it. Next one, this was my surprise one. I knew this was popular, but I didn't realise it had been this popular. It's the Sagebrush Top from Friday Pattern Company. This comes in sizes, 6 to 34, 
it's a really lovely simple pattern I think this one is really popular because it was one of the first patterns that had a big statement sleeve especially when it was all hitting the high streets and everyone wanted that sort of big sleeve and this was one of the first patterns that sort of had that um, so it's very simple top <clears throat> it's got a seam across the um, just above the bust you can have with a ruffle then it's got this kind of puff sleeve with a little, um, is it elasticated or is it, yes, elasticated um, cut, well, elasticated pat, like, what's the, what am I, you know, it's elasticated at the bottom of the sleeve. Ah, sorry, my brain. This isn't <laughs> um, it's got, it's, yeah, it's, and then the other thing about it is it's got this really lovely little tie detail at the back, which means you can, pop it over your head. So in terms of the construction actually it's really simple, it doesn't have a bust start, it, it, it's just a lovely pattern and so many people have bought this and loved it and again I, I think this is summer top sort of that will never go out of style and you can make over and over again so highly highly recommend checking that one out. Next up we've got the block tee from Paper Theory Patterns, this comes in sizes 6 to 28, I completely adore this and it's really simple but it's just really cool. So let me show you the line drawing. It's a very simple top, but it's just got really interesting seam lines. So it's got um, seam lines that sort of come, well, if I show you, you can see what I mean, what's going on here. This interesting kind of cut lines, very sharp corner here. I know some people have had trouble with the pivoting on the corner, but if you persevere, it's just, great again you could do interesting things fabric wise you could color block it so you could have different color sleeves or a different color central panel hardly any hardly any pattern pieces it's just really nice and simple and especially if it, for warmer weather this is a really fantastic option i totally think you could make this because the picture that is um the model's wearing is i think she it looks like a linen if you made this in a silk or a viscose it would look completely different it would drape differently so I think it's quite a versatile piece to add to your wardrobe. I think you could get kind of quite a lot out of it. So that one is another classic. Next up, this one I'm sure many of you are not surprised by, the Wilder Gown from Friday Pattern Company. This comes in sizes um, 6 to 28. It's beautiful, so gorgeous. I love it. It's again, one of those ones that suits so many different body types. Um, so let's show you the line drawing. So there are two variations, there's a top and a dress, and there are two variations of the dresses. It's got a raglan sleeve, which means it's really simple to sew in terms of inserting a sleeve, it, that is as easy as it gets. It's got a sewn panel that goes all around the neckline, which has um, a sewn panel, sorry, a sewn channel around the neckline, which you feed um, a ribbon or, you know, uh, strip through and tie. So that adds all of that interesting detail around the neckline. It's got a gathered, um, it's gathered just kind of, I guess the gathering starts sort of, yeah, just below the bust. And then there's an option of just having one tier of gatherings or two tiers, it's completely up to you. And the top variation of this is very similar. It just kind of, you cut straight down, you don't have any gathering. So you can get quite a lot of, you know, you can get quite a lot of options from this one pattern. Everyone who's made it adores it. Um, you can also have it, if you have don't want to have it tied up, you could also have it open, so, you, so it kind of creates like a V-neck on itself. It's just, it's a really interesting pattern, and I just like the fact that it's really lovely and loose, so in terms of fitting, you're not gonna have any issues. It's a really good one. So this one I was surprised about. This is the Sicily Slip Dress from um, Mason. This comes in sizes, 6 to 28. This is a really lovely simple simple item but slightly well it's cut on the bias so it's cut on the cross grain which means that in terms of sewing this, this is slightly more tricky um, only because the fabric moves as soon as you cut it on the cross you're cutting it almost diagonally to the grain so there's that's where you get all the movement and this is how you get that lovely cow neck drape at the front. Um, there are two variations, you can either make a shorter and longer, or you can have spaghetti straps, 
or you can have slightly wider straps but the cowl sits a little higher. Um, it's a really beautiful pattern, it's really lovely and simple but that's the only thing you if you you know if you're relatively new to sewing that's the only slightly tricky thing is the bias cut on this but it's just yeah it's so lovely you, you need something to make this something with drape but beautiful beautiful so last but definitely not least we've got the heather blazer from friday pattern company another friday pattern company pattern um this comes in sizes 6 to 34 i can completely see why this has been so popular i think it's fantastic really relaxed fit boyfriend style jacket which was everywhere on the high street um it's unlined it's a loose fit which is amazing it also is it it, it is you know not complete beginner but if you're newish to sewing and you haven't made a jacket yet this could be a really nice option because the actual construction of this isn't too difficult there are patch pockets there's one button and that's optional you could leave that off if you didn't want a button this yeah so the construction of this makes it kind of much more simple and I think this is why everyone's really kind of drawn to it because you can sew it kind of relatively quickly and the fitting means because it's relaxed fit there's gonna be less fitting issues it's just yeah and, and it's bang on trend so it's a win-win in my book I just think this is such a great pattern that everyone I can see why everyone loves it so I hope that was useful let me know if you like these because I've never done one of these before and it's something that we'll definitely do again if you guys like to see every now and again which have been sort of top 10 most popular ones there's also a blog post so make sure you go and check that out too all right we'll be back soon with another video bye